Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Diablo 3 with me, Bregaton. Terriel's Command. You are a great warrior. I'd say you know a bit about war yourself. I do what I can. Imperius himself would have been hard pressed to hold these walls as long as these soldiers have. This world owes them a great debt. Imperius? Imperius is the Archangel of Valor. It is he who commands the legions of the High Heavens. The Battle of the Diamond Gates. Has the conflict between Heaven and Hell ever come close to an end? We thought we had lost everything at the Fifth Battle of the Diamond Gates. The Prime Evils and their legions crashed against the very entrance of Heaven itself. But one of my most trusted lieutenants, Iswal, turned them back. Still, the day might have been lost had the demon lords not fallen to fighting amongst themselves. So confident of their impending victory, they turned on each other over the spoils they had yet to win. I shudder to think what the demon lords might accomplish should they ever stop betraying one another. Such is the self-defeating nature of evil. The demons are in the keep! They're coming up from the depths! To arms! To arms! I would ask if you're all right. <clears throat> foul darkness. I see a foul darkness gathering around us. The forces of hell will soon overwhelm Leah. Does the soul stone shatter? Do the demon lords break free? No. You help Leah contain the energy within the stone. But the cost to her is high. Hey, we should probably check in with Adria and Leah. Suffering. Your daughter suffers. It must be difficult to witness. Everyone suffers. But to do so for a cause greater than oneself, that is the mark of a true hero. My daughter is everything I hoped she would be. This stone is vibrating. I can barely hold it. Their voices, they're screaming in my head. Will Leah be able to resist the stone's evil? She must. Clearly the stone wasn't built to contain six demon lords indefinitely. Only Leah's will holds it together. Stay strong, Leah. I will kill Asmodan quickly. Oops. I'm glad this is almost done. I don't... I don't think I have much time left. You can endure this, Leah. Think of your hopes for the future. You're in, perhaps. No. You were right. There's no safe place for anyone. Look around us. If this keep can't protect us, what chance would a silly little inn have? Oh wait, any more to say? Dreams. Cain would be proud, Leah. Just hold on a little longer and think of your dreams. When this is over and you can build your inn. The demonic rage is building up again. But I can do this. I know I can. Thank you. Okay, and away we go, back to work. Demons aren't going to slay themselves. Evil is closing in around this keep. We must protect the innocent. Shaft before the wind. Good job, Templar. Ha! A good hit! Thank <laughs> you. 
I'll have more snippet went away. Like chaff before the wind. Another upgrade for bombardment. Impactful bombardment. A single much larger ball of explosive pitch is hurled at a targeted location, dealing a great deal of damage. These enemies defy all reason. That was an annoying little fight. Had enough. My wounds heal. I was concerned that maybe jumping across that chasm earlier is gonna Bad be a mistake. You, friend. But it looks like it all worked out. Which, worst case scenario, I just jump back across it regardless.
Bad luck for you, friend. My wrath is low. Weird sensation, so those little, the Nephilim glory orbs. When you play on console, whenever you pick one up, the controller vibrates, so whenever I grab one, I keep expecting to feel a vibration in my hand, so I'm playing with mouse and keyboard. It doesn't happen. I have been fortunate enough to learn much of the barbarians' complicated history in my time, yet the origins of these large, mighty warriors are hazy at best. Legend holds that they are the offspring of Bull Kathos, an ancient who embodied their ideals of strength, bravery, and courage. to shreds. explosions. Alright, where's this demon hat that Asmodan sent to eat everybody? Bad luck for you, friend!
Right now, he's not doing a very good job. I chose the wrong path first. Normally that's something I strive to do, but not with procedurally generated levels. Before Zakarum. Children of Bull Kathos settled in the northern steppes, an area that is now known as the Dreadlands. Theirs was primarily a nomadic and tribal culture, though they had a few permanent settlements such as Cesaron and Haragoth. A group of revered former warriors known as the Elder Council ruled the barbarians. Your peace quickly. This was no ordinary. All right, finally found the way forward, and another waypoint. This will help. We are not alone in here. The one who killed Lord Belial. I will save her, tearing the flesh from your bones. Despite having any gimmicks, I think you just face tank him and cut through all of his health. It's not like the Spider Queen fight where you get down to a third of her health and she disappears and summons a horde of spiders for you to fight. That's not really a horde, more like a wave. I 
saying this little AoE thing is doing a ton of damage to us. I think when the game first came out, we couldn't actually do this. I feel like the game in general was a lot harder on release. I require more wrath. But it's also tied to the higher difficulties. You get more experience on higher difficulties, so your higher level makes a lot of the fights a lot easier. Garm is the largest of Asmodan's Sin Lieutenants, and he possesses no less than four mouths. Though his voracious appetite is certainly his greatest weapon, his bile, and, well, other noxious excretions are equally lethal. When last seen in battle, the Lord of Gluttony swallowed half a dozen angels whole, spears and all. I'm returning to town. Have another demon lord defeated. Empty victory over a useless tool. You have only delayed your inevitable destruction. Your walls have grown no stronger. Our assault continues unabated. The stone will still be mine. Terrifying noises were coming from the armory. So Tyriel went to investigate. He said if you were to return, I should send you there. And there I shall go. Once I'm done chit-chatting. The final goal. Time has flown by since I joined you in New Tristram. Look at us now. Who would have ever guessed we'd be here? And now, every passing hour brings us closer to our goal. Or do we have a chance? The burden is heavy. But we will bear it together. Enjoyment of life. You should give some thought to taking time for yourself, Cento. You can save the world tomorrow. Stay with us tonight. I'll buy drinks. We'll dance. When the crusade is done, then we'll dance. And I'll buy the drinks. I knew you'd say that. I really did. Hard questions. Oh dear. Uh, that's a very resolute expression you're wearing. You may as well uh, say what you're thinking. If you were truly a god, you could simply summon this jewel you seek. So, you are no god. Well, <laughs> I never claimed I was. Also, the jewel is so potent, it can defy even a god. So you do claim to be a god? Oh, do I? The scoundrel's wealth. What are you doing with all of these riches you find? Living a life of depravity and overindulgence, naturally. In this place? I doubt it. Fine. Perhaps I've found that my treasure is put to better use elsewhere. You're sending it away? You? We all have debts to pay, friend. May the gods who abandoned us come to your aid one last time. The intelligence vitality, crit hit damage, life after kill. A life per hit's probably better. Got a new home. I love the feel of discovering some precious item buried for years. Exquisite. Losing control. 
control! I think it was like, what, 20 of the 300 <laughs> soldiers we had left? The Soul Stone seems stable now. The demon's rage has been subdued. Yes, but for how long? Our time grows short. We must take this fight to Asmodan. Then we shouldn't waste time discussing it. I will break their battle lines, enter the crater, and end this. The war's end. The last of the great evils will soon be defeated. What will you do then? This war will never end for me. Even if we defeat all evil forever, I will carry the scars of this nightmare till the end of my days. Hmm. And Leah? I wish Leah could have the life I never had. But in truth, I fear she'll be damned as well. I disagree. Can you feel the keep shuddering? Asmodan's siege weapons. Saving these walls will have meant nothing if they're reduced to rubble. I'll shatter those weapons before that happens. At last! The Eternal Conflict. Tell me more of the Eternal Conflict. Since time immemorial, the forces of Heaven and Hell fought for control of the Sacred World Stone. Until the day it was stolen by renegades and used to forge your world. Since then, the forces of Hell became more interested in corrupting mankind than in facing us on the field of battle. They wished to turn humanity into a weapon? They knew that mankind would tip the balance of power forever. And very clearly, you have. The creation of the world. What do you know of the creation of our world? To escape the eternal conflict, a group of renegade angels and demons came together and created a hidden paradise for themselves. They called this world Sanctuary. Eventually, they commingled. They gave birth to mankind. That is why you have both good and evil within you, and the power of both realms as your birthright. The power of your Nephilim ancestors was so terrifying to their parents that they tuned the world stone to weaken them. They knew they had loosed something unimaginable upon creation. Those renegades were headed by Lilith and Anarius. Not if that lore is fleshed out by this point yet, or if it wasn't introduced until the expansion. Reaper of Souls. A sacred pact. I remember standing before the Prophet, my life hung by a thread, but he... he healed me and my sisters. What was his interest in you? He was impressed that we had slain the demons. When we had recovered, he offered to train us further. And you agreed? Yes. I owe him my life. Slaying the Lords of Hell would please him. It is the least I can do. I welcome the chance to travel with you. Lead the way to glory. Oh, something to talk about here too. Out of battle. The men look to you to lead them. When they see you laying waste to the demon hordes, they are heartened. As you go, so does this battle. We gain strength from each other. Remember that. A good time to use like a blacksmith analogy. Things are looking up, Martyr. We gain strength from each other like links in chainmail armor. There are other soldiers about besides me, if you haven't noticed. No, I haven't. The battlefields. Uh, you're going out there? I must. Asmodan waits. Uh, make sure you bundle up, huh? Uh, you should probably wear an extra layer or two. You can never be warm enough, I always say. But you've barely changed since the desert. Oh, yeah. Well, it's 
quite simple. <laughs> I just tuck a few fire opals in my pockets and under my shirts, and I never get cold. As good as a pair of long underwear. Alright, I'm gonna call it here. Uh, next time we will exit the keep and take the fight to Asmodan. Or at least start to. But for now, thanks for watching. Hope to see you guys in the next one.